four-year-old Ryan is praising his motherland. And this is a microphone the kid's carrying, not a Kalashnikov. Ryan's father couldn't imagine that his youngest son's participation in a patriotic rally would put all his family in danger and lead to the murder of his other two children. They threatened us many times. Once they wrote on my house's wall that the time has come, then they sent me a symbolic loop. Then they put the picture of Ryan on Facebook, promising 500,000 Syrian pounds to those who bring him to them. We couldn't imagine they'll come to our home. Yazan wanted to prepare for exams and went to sleep in the living room. And this is where they smashed first. There were shootings and they cried, Allah Akbar. I hid under the bed. Yazan told me a week before his death that he feels he'll not finish his exams and even if he does, he'll not get a certificate. He anticipated everything. He told me once, Mom, they're gonna kill me. Amman Shamir's elder son was shot dead on the way to hospital as he was trying to get help to his injured brother. Little Rayan escaped death only because that night he stayed with his grandparents. I was crying because they killed Yazem. I miss him a lot. He so wanted to get a good certificate. The funerals of the two teenagers had an honor guard. This is what they do here in Syria, the family says, when someone dies as a martyr. Why they try to kill us? This is their freedom. If you are not with them, you'll be killed. They wanted to kill us all, like Hula, and then say this is the government. We will not lose anything. That's enough. We lost a lot, not ready to lose anymore. Yaman has three more brothers left. He has something to lose. In this cemetery we found at least eight fresh graves, small ones. Vulnerable kids are becoming victims of grown-up games. In this conflict they've been used as human shields, they've been forced to take up arms and they've been killed for a purpose they barely understand. And no one can say for sure how many more will die until a way is found to stop the violence. Marie Finoshna. RT, reporting from Syria.